A blessed day everyone. So I'm praying that all of you are doing well, safe, and healthy with your family. So do not forget to thank God for all the blessings you receive, especially for your life and for the opportunity to study nursing despite of the pandemic. So do not forget also to, uh, to ask for God's guidance in everything you do, especially every time you um, listen to your lectures, attend your classes, or uh, do your assignments. Okay, so I'm hoping that you are all excited, motivated, and eager to learn to become nurse in the future after you watch the um, the video or my lecture last week about Florence Nightingale in the movie of Florence Nightingale and also the theory of RM. So I hope you were motivated. You know? And of course, um, hindi naman yung calling na si sabi doon, hindi naman always literal yun. So maybe, um, kahit sabihin mo, ay hindi ko naman gusto yung nursing. I was just um, influenced by my parents or my relatives. Still, maybe that is your call. Kasi every, everything naman, no, lahat ng pangyayari has a purpose at plan ni God. Okay? So, in this week, we will discuss another two series. The theory of Margaret Jean Harman Watson, which is our first topic for this week, about the philosophy and theory of transpersonal caring or the theory of nursing care. So let us talk about Margaret Jean Harman Watson. So Jean Watson was born on June 10, 1940. And she died on October 14, 2018, at the age of 91. She is an American nurse theorist and nursing professor who is well known for her philosophy and theory of transpersonal caring. She has also written numerous texts, including Nursing, the Philosophy and Science of Caring. Watson's study on caring has been integrated into education and patient care to various nursing schools and healthcare facilities all over the world. So, both in practice and academe. And actually, um, most of her books you know, has been transla translated into different languages such as German, Danish, um, Korean, Chinese, and etc. She was born and grew up in Welch, West Virginia. So she gained her master's degree in psychiatric mental health nursing in 1966 at the University of Colorado. And in the same university, she got her doctorate in educational psychology and counseling in 1973. She was a faculty and, and she has been in different administrative positions, being a dean, a nursing dean or director or a school director, and she has been a um, founder of Hospice Care and the being president in different organizations. So, so she has a lot of achievements. So the philosophy and theory of transpersonal care or the theory of nursing care emphasizes dignity and the person as a whole, not an object or diagnosis, which means that the person or the patient that you care for um, needs or should be respected. You know? and it is not just an object or it hindi siya object na nandiyan lang for you to give um for you to treat ganyan so she is a person uh, she is a person that um may dimensions no ibig sabihin meron siyang a mind body and spirit so she describes transpersonal caring relationship as a foundational to her theory when you say transpersonal 
it is a special kind of human care relationship that involves a union with another person who giving high regard for the whole person and their being in the world so when you say it's holistic it should be your care should be holistic so caring is the essence of nursing and the most central and unifying focus for nursing practice so nursing practice and you nurse exist to provide care so that is your purpose to provide care to the client and Watson developed the basic caring nursing process while writing a baccalaureate textbook no so habang ginagawa niya yung kanyang baccalaureate textbook may mga notes siya so doon niya na create or na na conceptualize ang basic caring nursing process so she published nursing the philosophy and science of caring in different revisions or editions this initial publication established the curative factors in nursing or the 10 curative factors and were renamed in 2001 to clinical caritas process so another hallmark in watson's exploration and development of science and art of caring is her book which was published in 1999 entitled postmodern nursing and beyond so the theory of caring focuses on the interpersonal and transpersonal relationship between nurse and other so it means um caring involves relationship so my relationship what is what is the kind it is a therapeutic relationship between the nurse okay and the patient or even herself the family of the patient or even her own family the society and the universe so human caring is the normal ideal of nursing so jean watson was able to establish uh, to publish at least 11 books you know, and here are the samples of her books the first one which was published in 1979 entitled nursing the philosophy in science of caring and the second one was published in 1985 entitled nursing human science and human care a theory of nursing and the third one was published in 1999 entitled postmodern nursing and beyond and so on and so forth may dumating pa and here is the latest published books which was published in 2011 entitled measuring caring international research on caritas as healing and the other one which was published in 2012 human caring science a theory of nursing so these are the 10 curative factors and caritas processes so what does it mean so why it is called 10 curative factors so Watson was inspired she was inspired by the 10 curative factors of Yalom's so yun ang kanyang parang naging baseline and what is curative so pag sinabi mong curative um, Kaya ito ang sinulat niya is to differentiate, no? to differentiate between nursing and medicine because the aims of medicine is more on curative while the aims of curative is the, the, the caring process, the caring process so that uh, or to enable the patient or the person to attain or maintain health or kung hindi man maintain yung health um syempre lahat tayo will definitely die naman or so kasama rin siya dito um to have a peaceful death okay so carat caritas means um you have to give care with love okay the formation of humanistic altruistic system of values as the number one curative factors 
Quran is also means in Claritas processes is the practice of loving kindness and equanimity with, within the context of caring consciousness. So, pag sinabi mong humanistic altruistic values, so all of us naman, no, may mga values tayo. Even uh, at our early age, tinuturuan na tayo ng values. And then, you as a nurse, you according to Jean Watson, you have to accept the patient as he or she is. No? And you have to accept her or him even though uh, she has a totally different values from your own. So you have to consider him or his family as your own. Okay? So loving kindness. And then, yan. when you give care, it should be uh, with love. Okay? It should be coming from your heart. Okay? Sabi nga nila, the word heart has another word within, which is the ear. So when you give care, you have to have the heart and the ear. Okay? You have to listen to the client, to the concerns of the client, to the pain of the client. Okay, so another term here is equanimity. So you have to understand that the nursing profession is a tough profession. You have to have um, more patience. Okay, it's a tiring uh, job, a lot of workloads, plus that you're a stressful patient and you have to understand that your patient is under stress or pressure due to her or his situation. So, pwede kang sigawan niya, pwede kang tarayan niya, pwede kang kung, um, alipustahin or whatever. So, you have to accept that and then yung equanimity which means that in whatever situation you are, you have to keep yourself calm and maintain your composure. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Then, the second one is the installation of faith, hope. No? So, being authentically present and enabling and sustaining the deep belief system and subjective life world of self on one being incurred for. So, paano ba to? You can, you can, um, you can incorporate your own belief. Okay, so paano po ba? In, in what situation? Like for example, um, may diagnosis na si patient that um, she or has a, a serious kind of disease like COVID-19. Di ba? Nakakatakot yun. Plus, or cancer. Or that is, um, pag may diagnosis na ganun, parang babagsak yung mundo ni patient. You can incorporate your own belief system um, you can encourage the client, you can introduce the client about your God, but it doesn't mean na pipilitin mo siya. But you have to share that to him or her para ma-enlighten mo siya. Mag-boast mo ang kanyang um, spiritual aspect. Diba? Tapos sabi nga nila, um, yung mind is powerful yan kapag yung mind mo is very positive, so turuan mo si patient na maging positive okay, kasi um, pag positive ang mind, so it follows na yung mga blood cells mo magiging pwedeng, or mga cells sa iyong katawan, ay eh, pwedeng lumakas sila, so um, what are what other ways pa na ma-inspire still mo yung faith and hope you can individualize your care no individual individualize mo yung care for your client hindi yung the same care lang you're handling at 10 patients the same kind of care lang tare lang suplado lang ganyan lang so ganon and then um um reminders lang dito sa faith and hope is of course do not or never give false hope to the client. You can encourage, but never uh, give false hope. Okay? The number three, the cultivation of sensitivity to oneself and others, or cultivation of one's own spiritual practices and transpersonal self going beyond that ego self. So, how is this? So, being a nurse, you have to be sensitive. Kung baka naman sabihin mo, sabihin mo, um, natarayan ka lang ni nurse or natarayan ka ng relatives 
nagtatampo ka na kaagad, ayaw mo na siyang eat care properly, mataray naman yung pasyente niya, nayaan mo na siya, hayaan mo na maliit yung gamot niya, hayaan mo na siya kung uminom ng gamot, pabayaan mo siya kung gagaling siya or hindi. So, hindi dapat, no? Um, hindi yun ang be insensitive. So, you have to be sensitive in a positive way. Okay. Yeah. So, you have to be sensitive with the personal needs of that person. And what are her values? You have to be sensitive dyan sa kanya. Then, number four. Developing a helping trust relationship became development of a helping trusting human caring relation. Developing and sustaining a helping, trusting, authentic, caring relationship. So, paano ba yun? You have to be real with your client. Hindi ka magsisinungin lumalin sa client. You have to be real or hindi mo siya sobrang bulahin lang din. And paano? When you come inside the client's room, of course, be ano naman. Be courteous. Say, good morning. Hi po, sir. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Kumusta po kayo? So, that is very important. Hindi yung pagpasok ka lang doon, check ng IV, injection. Ay, may maralang po akong gamot na ibibigay sa inyo. So, hindi ganun. You have to practice your therapeutic communication by um, having an open-ended communications or open-ended question. So, in, hindi naman in a sense na nakikipagchikahan ka na lang or nakikipagchismisan ka na lang. Um, wag naman din yung parang binubola mo na rin si patient dahil alam niya kung binubola mo siya or hindi. Okay? You have to be real. Okay? And establish rapport. Yun nga yung therapeutic communication. And number five, the promotion and acceptance of the expression of positive and negative feelings. So, according to karate processes, being present to and supportive of an expression, the expression of positive and negative feelings as a connection with deeper spirit and self and the one being cared for. So, pwede kayong maging open sa isa't isa with the patient. No? Pwede siyang magsabi sa'yo ng mga negative feedback niya about you and you have to accept that. Okay. And then, what else? Paano ba? You have to be there with the client. Kung halimbawa, ayan na si Doc. Sasabihin na ni Doc ang kanyang diagnosis about the client. Na positive siya ng COVID-19 or meron siyang cancer. So, you have to be there with the client to give comfort with the client. To be able to accept, di ba? To accept her current um, health situation. And number six, the systematic use of scientific problem-solving method for decision-making became systematic use of a creative problem-solving caring process. Cre uh, according to Caritas process, it is a creative use of self and all ways of knowing as part of the caring process to engage in the art history of caring healthy practice so this means that you have to utilize your nursing process okay in doing or giving your care for the client so you can utilize you can apply your nursing process para you can arrive into a um, good decision and you can provide the best care that the patient needs and then the promotion of transpersonal teaching and learning or in Caritas process, this means in engaging in genuine teaching and learning experience that attends to unity of being and meaning, attempting to stay within others' frame of reference. So, teaching and learning, you can provide health teaching to the client. For example, um, um, para maiwasan yung diabetes or para ma-maintain yung kanyang blood sugar or ma-maintain ang blood pressures, ito dapat yung mga food na dapat yung kainin, ito dapat yung mga food na dapat yung iwasan. So, you can provide healthy chain to the patient. And you have to be open as well as a nurse um, about the patient kasi baka meron din siyang knowledge, no? And hindi, sasabihin niya sa'yo para hindi kayo magtalo. Ito yung alam ko sa about ganyan-ganyan. You have to listen that. Um, you, have, you have to remember that um, 
learning is a continuous process no you might also learn from your um from your patient or from your client but of course you have to validate if the information you are getting from her or his is a valid no okay then number eight the provision of supportive protective and or corrective mental physical societal and spiritual environment this means that creating healing environment at all levels including the physical as well as the non-physical subtle environment of energy and consciousness whereby wholeness beauty comfort dignity and peace are potentiated so you have to consider the internal and the external environment of the client that might influence the um, caring or the healing process of the client then number nine the assistance with gratification of human needs okay by assisting with basic needs with an intentional caring consciousness administering human care essentials with potentiate alignment of mind body spirit wholeness and unity of being in all aspects of care so this just means that um according to uh, according to jean watson you can satisfy or you can reach the higher order needs of the client by providing or by satisfying the lower order needs of the client which is uh, which are again includes the the food <coughs> the ventilation and etc and then number 10 the allowance for existential phenomenological forces became allowance for existential phenomenological spiritual forces in 2004 uh, according to what's on website um opening and attending to spiritual mysterious and existential dimensions of one's own life or death soul care for self and the one being cared for so you have to respect the client's belief because the client or you as a nurse may have different beliefs on on um recovery of the client or on death of the client diba so yung iba diba yung iba naniniwala pa sila sa mga faith healers okay so hindi mo pwedeng or ito yung religion niya ito yung paniniwala nila like for example the uh, the iglesia or the muslims they don't accept a blood donation no or blood transfusion hindi sila uh, nag-accept doon so you cannot you cannot force the client you have to respect that and another example sa death naman like for example yung sa chinese no they have this kind of practice that once the patient die alimbawa kahit sa hospital man yan or at home they have to let the client stay on bed muna for at least eight hours if i'm not mistaken and then um at least for during that eight hours hindi siya pwede iligpit di ba sa krisyan pag wala na pag patay na idadalhin na talaga agad yan sa morgue for them hindi muna hayaan mo ni siyang humiga dyan sa bed tapos magdadasal muna sila kakantahan muna siya may mga ritual sila and then you have to respect that kasi even a Chinese general hospital nagpa-practice din yun no na Doon muna si patient, pagkahalimbawa, the patient is Chinese or kung, kung yun ang kanilang practice. So, yeah. So, what sounds ordering of needs, as I mentioned in your narrative factor number, uh, number four, okay? Ay, sorry, number nine, okay, narrative factor number nine, you, you, you have to satisfy the needs of the client. So, ito yung mga lower order needs, the, the, the biophysical needs, which includes the need for food and fluid, the need for elimination, okay, the need for ventilation, and the lower order needs includes itong pangalawang lower order needs, which is the psychophysical needs of the client that includes the need for activity in activity and the need for sexuality. And the higher order needs or the psychosocial needs 
Th these needs include the need for achievement, the need for affiliation, higher order need, which is the intrapersonal, and the interpersonal need, the need for self-actualization. Okay? So, what are the assumptions of Gene Watson's theory? So, these are the assumptions, no? Um, caring can be effectively demonstrated and practiced only interpersonally, which means that you can provide caring. Uh, when you provide caring, it involves it um, interpersonal relationship. No, it involves a relationship or a therapeutic relationship between the nurse and the patient. Okay. Then caring consists of ten curative factors that results in the satisfaction of certain human needs. And effective caring promotes health and individual or family growth. Diba? Siyempre, pag effect, effective yung caring mo, mapapabilis yung pagaling ni patient. Mapapabilis ang kanyang ang problem ng family, mapapabilis masolusyonan. Ma caring responses accept the patient as he or she is now, as well as what he or she may become. So, kahit anong mangyari sa kanya, kahit pumayat man siya, or mag-iba ang itsura niya, nang dahil doon sa illness niya, you have to accept that. You have to show acceptance. Number five, a caring environment is one that offers the development of potential while allowing the patient to choose the best action for him or herself at a given point in time. So, hindi nga lang siya object for your care. That person has his own mind. So, you have to let the client decide for him or herself. Okay? So, you have to consider, hindi ikaw yung magdi-decision lahat-lahat for the patient. A science of caring is complementary to the science of curing. So, that is very self-explanatory na rin naman, no? So, to complement nga kasi nga yung the focus of medicine is more of curing and then hindi naman ma-achieve yung curing kung puro ganun lang, kung puro physical aspect lang yung bibigyan mo. Um, dito papasok yung curative um, factor or para matu mapunuan yung kakulangan doon sa mind or doon sa spirit or the emotional psychological aspect of the client the practice of caring is central to nursing so again that is the focus of nursing nulit na rin natin yan and the theory of what sons involves or includes the um, meta paradigm concepts as follows first one is of course yung nursing so, according to her, nursing consists of knowledge, thought, values, philosophy, commitment, and action with some degree of passion. To, to make it short, the nurse, para mas madaling, or to simplify, for you to understand, ang ibig sabihin lang dito is for you to become a nurse, or a nurse must possess, must have the knowledge, the skills, and the attitude and new values and then it is interested in understanding health illness and human experience no so hindi lang health hindi lang kalusugan or ano ba yung sickness so human experience the interaction that happened or the relationship you you gain from caring okay? it is concerned with health promotion restoration and illness prevention. So, hindi lang um, restoration is yung nagkasakit na si patient uh, para mabilis ang pagaling. So, hindi lang dahil may illness na si patient. You have to give care as a nurse. You have to give care um, for the well. For the well client as well as the ill client. Okay? Nursing as a human science of people and human health illness experiences that are mediated by professional, um, personal, scientific, aesthetic, and ethical 
human care transaction. So, it involves, pag sinabi natin, ethics, ethical, ito yung um, acceptable, di ba, kind of practices. And it involves teamwork. So, hindi lang siya iisa. So, it is mentioned, may mga other professionals pa dyan. Hindi lang si nurse, hindi lang yan, kundi may other team pa. It's a multidisciplinary action from other team members and from um, the doctor, the interns, the the nurses, the lab, the technician, so the nursing aid. So, it is a may interaction then that happened between that uh, teamwork. Okay? Then, health. She defined health as unity and harmony within the mind, body, and soul, and is associated with the degree of congruence between the self as perceived and the self as experienced. Kasi sometimes, di ba, iba yung iniisip mo, iba yung experience mo talaga. Kasi yung iniisip mo na iniisip mo na magaling ako, magaling ako, kaya kong lumakad. O, oh, sinisip ni pasyente, kaya kong maglakad. Kaya ng mind niya, but the body ka na. So, it's a unity. Dapat, ano yan? Kung may congruence dyan. Okay? Then, her definition is actually originated from WHO as the positive state of physical, mental, and social well-being with the inclusion of the three elements. Health as a high level, all physical, mental, and social functioning. So, ibig sabihin, walang problema doon sa aspect na yun kasi high level. So, health as a general adaptive maintenance level of daily functioning and absence of illness. So, again, that's very self-explanatory. And the human being. So, how she defined. So, human being is a valued person in and of him to be cared for. So, respected, nurtured, understood, and assisted. So, it's a special being, no? Um, a person is greater than the different from the sum and different from the sum of its part, okay? person is greater than and different from the sum of its part. Kasi, um, ano ba yung mga parts natin? So, may psychological area ka yan. So, buo yan. So, it's a holistic person. So, environment. So, society provides the values that determine how one should behave and what goals one should strive towards. So, to her, um, environment or the society it has an impact, no? What is the values of the society? What are the practices of the society that will impact or that will inf influence the, the recovery of the client, the kind of uh, care that the client requires? So, it has influence. Okay, so environment or society. So, Watson states that caring and nursing has existed in every society. So, every society has had some people who have cared for others. A caring attitude is not transmitted from generation to generation by genes. It is transmitted by the culture of the profession as a unique way of coping with its environment. So, that word is easy to understand. So, how can we integrate the the theory of Jean Watson into uh, nursing practice. So, uh, watch this um, example of the application of Jean Watson's theory into practice. Hello, my name is Nurse B and I'm here today to show you how to apply Jean Watson's carative factors. First, I start my day by reflecting and centering myself to cultivate loving kindness. I promote self-care by running and exercising every morning before work. I go to work intending to use every opportunity to bring authentic caring to my relationships with staff and patients. Hello, Jan, Mary Francis, Sarah, Perry and Adrian. I hope you have a great day.
I have been assigned Mr. Nick Hamilton who is suffering from an unusual deforming infection and has been having difficulty coping with a change in body image. Mr. Hamilton has been having problems coping. I empathize with what Mr. Nick Hamilton must be feeling and consider how I might be able to help him with his emotional, spiritual and physical needs. Before I enter the room I think of the first two carative factors. Practicing loving kindness and being authentically present. I take a few seconds to be still and center myself in the caring moment. I keep myself open to receive information. Hello, my name is Nurse B. How are you feeling today? I am not feeling very well. I notice that Mr. Hamilton has his head covered and is facing away from me. I have a feeling that he is suffering from despair. I decide to ask Mr. Hamilton open-ended questions and attempt to have him open up to me about his feelings so that we can work towards developing trust. I have been told you are having problems with your self-image. Can you tell me about this? Just look at me. How can I go out in public or go to work looking like this? Oh my, poor Mr. Nick Hamilton, he does look awful. I must be accepting and not display my feelings of horror at his appearance. I will allow him to express his negative feelings. This must be very difficult for you Mr. Hamilton. One can understand how hard it would be to go out and work. I will ask Mr. Hamilton about his work, recognizing that he has other concerns than just physical. He also has psychosocial needs. I hope that this will help develop trust. What do you do for a living Mr. Nick Hamilton? Why? That is so nice of you to ask. I am a teacher so you can see why it is difficult to get up in front of a classroom. The children laugh. Oh, yes that must be hard unless you are teaching biology. Oh my. Ha 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 ha. That is so funny. Ha 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 ha. Mr. Hamilton and I just had a caring moment. We spend the next several minutes talking about his job teaching biology. Mr. Nick Hamilton, I have your antibiotic injection. This should help your infection so you will feel better. It can also affect your appetite. How are you eating? I have not been eating very much. The only foods that sound good are carrots and vegetables. Mr. Hamilton, protein and dairy are very important to fight infection. I will see if we can have a nutritionist come speak with you. Thank you. I would like that. I have used the scientific problem-solving method for decision-making by providing skilled interventions to assist Mr. Nick Hamilton. In addition, I have provided teaching by informing Mr. Nick Hamilton about nutrition and providing services to improve diet. Here is your injection. Mr. Hamilton and I have developed a trusting relationship. I contemplate how I can help improve his environment. I provide sunlight and color to his room. I assist Mr. Hamilton to the bathroom and make his bed. As I leave the room our eyes meet and we share a caring moment. The next day I hear that Mr. Hamilton is doing much better. I go to his room. Mr. Hamilton you look like a new man, you must be feeling better. Yes I do feel better, I will be going home today. Thank you for your help. Mr. Nick Hamilton's recovery is amazing. I recognize that anything is possible. I hope that this helps you understand Jean Watson's theory of caring and how it applies to the caring moment. Reflection on your actions and centering yourself to be present in the moment can help create the caring moment. By combining caring and love we have characters. Please have a caring and spiritual day. Thank you for your time. Characters. So, I hope you learned some, something from that. So, there are different ways on how you will apply the 10 curative factors of Gene Watson. So, in that movie, um, you can see that, that um, caring plus love, we have caritas. Okay? So, um, you, each curative factors, you can, you, comp, you can apply it in different situations. So, kung ano yung kind of situation, pwede mong i-base doon. Lalo na pag nag-duty na kayo. So, wag na wag ninyong kakalimutan lahat ng series that you've learned during your first weeks of nursing. So, another 
um, to continue with the integration of Gene Watson's theory of caring into practice um, to summary, I'm sorry, to, to summary, to summarize it, um, you have to establish a caring relationship with the client. How? That is by um, establishing rapport or um, having a therapeutic communication with your client. And then you have to treat your patients as holistic being that compose of mind, body, and spirit. Um, not only physical aspects, so please do not forget. Because some of the nurses I encountered in the areas, and they tend to forget their, their essence of nursing. Um, what they do is just to provide um, um, medication, get the vital signs without therapeutic communication with the client. Remember, you are not just treating the client physically. So the client will recover if you will treat the client, both the physical aspect, the emotional aspect, and the spiritual aspect. The, um, also the uh, mind, the thoughts, okay? Display unconditional acceptance. You have to accept the client for what he or she is, what are her values or his values. Treat the patients with positive regard. Paano ba yung positive regard na yun? Well, very good to let the nurse. You look um, differently today, di ba? Parang, wow, um, you are improving, okay? So be positive always with your client. Promote health, knowledge, and intervention. So how is it? You have to utilize your nursing process again. You have to apply that steps in providing care to be able to have a scientific-based care. So spend an interactive time with the patient. That is again to establish rapport for you to have um, trusting for you to gain the patient trust and you will, you will be able to have a trusting relationship with your client. And this is just a summary of the 10 caritas factors which in, um, might be easier for you to remember. So I give you here. Okay, I will not uh, read it again since I've already discussed it. And then these are my references. And let me end this um, lecture for this first topic with um, um, this quote from John 15 12 this is my commandment thy, that ye love one another as I have loved you so from the Bible palang, you have to give love not only to your boyfriend to your mother father but to everybody especially to the patient who are really in need of care because they are in a difficult situation they're having emotional, they're having um, psychological, not only physical problem, all of those aspects are affected. Diba? So you have to understand and you have again to provide care with love. Okay? Okay. God bless everyone.